Okay, so someone else emailed me today uh, talking about wanting to set up a music studio totally based around Linux. And uh, they asked me if it was possible and what software I'd recommend and, uh, you know, how I'd go about setting it up. And this is a this is kind of a subject that's near and dear to my heart because in another life, uh, way back in the uh, late 80s, I actually was a musician. Now, I wasn't a digital musician in that I didn't use computers because using computers uh, to record music was insanely expensive at the time. Workstations cost, you know, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars um, $20,000. So I used a little bit of the uh, 8-track uh, recorder. Um, and uh, a synthesizer and, you know, had some mics and stuff like that and recorded directly to this 8-track uh, digital recorder. Um, but things have changed over the years quite a bit, um, and you now have a plethora of options when you're wanting to digitally record your music. Um, you can still use the dedicated hardware like, uh, you know, what's made by uh, Tascam or, or, um, or any of the other manufacturers, but the more the more accepted method and the easier method, uh, because you're going to want to edit the sound and mix it and all of that anyway, um, is to record directly to your computer hard disk. And there's a lot of programs out there that allow you to do it. Um, predominantly, music production is dominated by the Mac. Uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, Mac has always been very good at uh, producing or, or, or working with music, working with sound. Um, in the professional studio, there is a ton of software out there. Even in the home version, there's things like GarageBand and things like that, which make uh, even amateur musicians, uh, they, it gives them the ability to do amazing things with their music. So uh, just know that for the most part, your best editing option uh, your best recording option is going to be going with a Mac. Windows is probably a close second. Uh, Windows has some really good software. I'm thinking Fruity Loops. I'm thinking, uh, you know, Cakewalk. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, you know, different software programs that are out there. Really good, strong competitors. But really, multimedia editing, as far as sound goes and stuff like that, Windows has always kind of lagged behind. Um, it's catching up really fast. Uh, Microsoft has focused on multimedia in the last couple of years, uh, and so Windows is becoming amazingly strong, uh, but it's not quite there yet. Linux, to be honest, is not necessarily the route that I would go um, if I wanted to uh, record, record music. Um, I've done it. I have actually set up a Linux recording studio. It was patched together. It was pieced together. Um, it was a horrible experience, to be honest with you. Um, the software uh, was very unreliable. Um, the uh, interfaces were okay. And most of the time, I ended up having to use uh, software from Windows uh, and bring it into Wine to be able to do it. Uh, so my, my short answer to your question is I would not use Linux to create a recording studio unless... Unless you're a technology buff, you want to learn Linux, and you know you happen to want to create some music in your spare time and 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 play around with it. But if you're a serious musician and you want to, uh, you know, you want to really crank out music, you want to record a record, uh, you might want to create some demos. Um, Linux is probably not the way to go. Now that's changing too. Um, in fact, I've got a friend right now who's working on creating a portable. Linux-based recording studio. It's going to be a laptop with all of the software pre-configured, and all you're going to need to do is attach, uh, you know, your your preamp and all of your uh, your mix, oh, not your mixers, your uh, your preamp and your um, your you know mics and your your uh, your controllers and all that, and you can record directly to that. So it is changing slowly. It's not there yet. Uh, right now, for people who are not geeks, for people who are just musicians that want to record stuff, um, I would say. Linux isn't there yet. Go with Mac if you can. Uh, second, probably with Windows. But it's getting there. And it'll be there soon. So keep an eye open. It's coming. Hope that answers your question. And uh, I'd be interested in hearing what the rest of you have to say about it. Do you ever use Linux uh, to record music? And I'm not talking about just, you know, spoken word. I'm talking about, like, as a professional recording solution. Tell me your experiences. Thanks a lot.